Hello, my name is Vince DiLorenzo and I'm the Dynabreed Corporate Trainer. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change contact arms for all models of Dynafile 2s. This includes the three models shown in front of me, our NF1, our 40352, and our electric Dynafile 2 40610. And it will also encompass all contact arm changes for our mini file 2s as well as Dynafile 3s. In order to perform the contact arm change, you'll first need to remove the belt cover and then the belt. You'll remove the belt by releasing the pressure by pressing the arm and then you can remove your belt. You'll then remove your tracking knob from the contact arm, unscrew your tracking knob. I always hold the contact arm in place just so it's not lost when the tracking knob is removed. Again, fully removing the tracking knob and then removing the contact arm. So choose your contact arm to replace and when reinstalling, always ensuring that the tang, the small metal knob is facing down and going into the tension arm. So install the contact arm and then reinsert the tracking knob, threading it down until the contact arm is just about parallel with the tension arm. We will fix the tracking once the belt is reinstalled. So it doesn't have to be perfect while you're screwing it on. So now we'll reinstall our belt by depressing the tension arm, reinstall the belt cover, and then adjust the tracking as needed. Once the belt is reinstalled and the tracking has been adjusted as needed, you're all set and ready to run again. Again, this change encompasses all models of Dynafile 2s, including the mini Dynafile 2, as well as Dynafile 3s. For any additional questions or information, please reach out to your local Dynabraid territory manager or visit our corporate website.